Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Super Base Auth. Today we are going to learn about the sign in with Google. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So in the last video we have talked about the sign up and the sign in. Now we are going to learn about the sign in with Google. So click on the sign in with Google. So whatever account we have, so sign in with this account. And here you can see. I'm logged in with my email okay what else information we can get it you can go to the console and here you can see that the user information with the phone number picture here we go with the picture and this is the picture that I'm adding that is technical Rajni information okay and what else we have the full name that is technical Rajni email is there avatar URL is there phone number not there picture is there so, so, this is different one okay so whatever the information I have allowed it giving me the, all the information and you can fetch it and show it accordingly right so let's dive into the code level and also how to configure this Google auth I have already talked about this in the this video that is unsupported provider is not enabled in the Superbiz react already I have created the video for the five minutes where we have teach you like how to configure the Google authentication or Google auth how to configure the callbacks the super base auth URL and everything okay and here we have the documentation for the authentication so here we go with the Google right so here we have the details also so here we have to go with the consent screen page right so go with the consent screen page of there okay switch the account so this is the account which currently I'm logged in so this is the consent screen right if I go to edit the app so here you can see that project ID is there app domain is there here you can see that this is my super base authorized domain which I've added okay and uh, save and continue here you can see that we have a scopes to add that is user info email and the user profile okay and go to the save and continue nothing we have to do save and continue optional and go with the done okay this is done right then we go with the credentials here we will go with the another one with create credentials auth client id right so here we will go with that one the next step what we have to this is done create credentials auth client id then web application then authorize javascript origin your site url and you have to redirect the callback url okay so let's have a look of that one here we go with the web application so here we have to add the javascript url okay and here we have to redirect URL so how to get this redirect URL you have to go with the superbase dashboard for the redirect URL so here we go with this one superbase project here we have to go with the providers auth providers and here we have the Google so make sure the Google is enabled and here we have the enable with the sign in with the Google so client ID we require client secret we required okay and this is the callback URL just copy it and paste it over here in the in the video I have told you like okay so copy this and uh, authorize JavaScript that would be the local host where the request will come okay after saving this you will re retrieve the details like this one okay that is uh, client ID and the client secret copy and paste it and save it then your Google sign in with will work let's dive on the code, code level also what we have written down over here this video is extension of the previous video so make sure you have to watch the previous one video to know more about this because I have already updated the previous one okay so make sure you have all this let's move to the next one okay so here we have to go with the our app.auth okay so here we have the this is already talked about in the last video so here we are discussing about the Google sign-in okay so superbase auth dot sign in with auth make sure you have to write this sign in with auth provider Google if error then console dot the user sign in with Google they have some issues if the if the user is coming up then set the user and then in the console you will get if there is any issue that the you error in the sign in with the Google okay so this is the code for that one and the rest of the code would be the same the talked about the last video okay so you can just take a look of that one session sign out and here we have the 
sign in with Google. So here we go, click on it. So this is the process. Okay. And the rest of the code is the same with off of the last video that is author.js and the use auth and the super base client. Okay. And the app.js also. Okay. So this is how you can go with the login with Google. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.